Okay, entering turn 13, another winter turn. Um, we do have a river flotilla on the board, and the red train will come back, so I will just put the red train in a minute. We'll figure out what that goes. Um, but if you remember, there is a flotilla unit here in Tsaritsyn, and that is going to have to disappear now because it is frozen, and it's not going to do any good, which is very bad timing here for the forces in Tsaritsyn. So when you take away flotillas because of winter turns, you put them on the next available uh, non-winter turn, which is going to be turn 15. Uh, so that's going to be a while before they get that back. Um, also, I noticed that you see I have some scrawled writing here because I do it one-handed, not with my offhand. Um, that I've stacked a unit here. And if you remember, this stack, which is the 11th Army and the Konarmia, um, they could stack over here because Frunze was the leader for that front and he does allow overstacking. But we don't have any leader in the south and they can't overstack so that was, that was my um, mistake. So what we're going to actually do is, well what we would have done honestly is not have the Konarmia just hanging out on its own. Um, probably would have done that. Um, yeah, so they'll just hang out kind of there. So those are the two big things I think I noticed. That was the only mistake I think I really noticed is that I messed that up. So, okay, we're going to move on to turn 13. We're going to roll for initiative. Um, if the whites capture initiative here, that's going to be very big for them. And they don't. <laughs> uh, that's a three to two, so it's going to be a red turn. I think we're definitely going to pick the south to go first. Um, just because of the increasing pressure we face there. If we hadn't won the roll there, that would have been... Would have been uh, not so good for the old uh, forces here in the south. All right, so I'm going to pull out the south chit. We'll go ahead and have that go first. Other chits go into the cup. All right, so south. So we need to get an army in there very quickly. Uh, one that is actually full strength so that it has a shot at not dying uh, if it gets pushed back. Or it could try to attack here, which maybe is what I need to do is sort of counterattack. I can do some sort of maneuvering. Actually, I won't be able to. I think I have to move one of these time and you can't overstack. So maybe he will be kind of stuck there unless I can maybe make an attack on this guy and, and uh, relieve him. It's 2, 4, 5. Yeah, it's a 6 stack. Um, but I could get 4, 8, 12, 16 points around it, which is almost enough to do, um, and I guess I could go, I can't really go here unless that somehow comes in there. Probably go, I could get even more forces around it, but I think the best I can do at this point is put 4, 8, 12, 16, because I can get 4, 8, 12, I can get a unit here, and that's 16. Um, and they're in the open. I guess they're on a river, and uh, but I will be able to negate that. Man, they don't have a ton of defensive bonuses, right? Yeah, they actually have zero defensive bonus, but they have four units. It can be risky, because I will be necessarily attacking with um, this, and if I get a retreat result, which I don't think will be that much, because I have, if I can bring 4, 8, 12, 16, that's going to be, what, 2 to 1 odds? The chances that I would get a retreat are pretty low. Um, it would have to be a pretty bad attack. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to group some units around. We're going to take out this tanks because we really need to make sure the Tsaritsyn doesn't fall. Um, I'd rather not. Oh yeah, let's put on the red train and do a strategic movement before we do all the stuff because I always forget that stuff. So the red train can come back any place it's in supply and can do that. So I think we're going to put it in Tsaritsyn itself just in case. Um, Strategic movement. Is there anybody I want to move for the Siberians? It doesn't. Oh, wait. And of course, the Machno will turn red because he is now much closer to a white unit. Uh, no, I don't think there's any kind of strategic movement I really want to do. Um, nope. Everything else looks okay. The Reds don't really need to move anybody, and the Siberians are clearly going to be dead soon, and uh, there's nothing really to move here. So we'll just stick with that. Okay, so we will attack. 
with a bunch of not strong armies. <laughs> I wish these were more rallied, and I'm sort of afraid to put in uh, a unit here to face the Kubans, and although they got to deal with the Machnos, they won't be able to really... Well, the Machnos don't have a zone of control, but it is almost just better to deal with them now. Oh, wait. I forget. Was this injured? Was he injured? I think he was, because he got pushed back, so that means that this one will be also injured. Which can be good for the whites here, because we might need to take that out while we can. Okay, so we're going to group an attack here. Oh, I hate to take an army out of here, but it's actually okay. I'd rather have more attack power and lose this potentially. So we'll go one, two. This guy will jump into here. This guy will come down here. The corner Mia. Probably should go hold Harkov. Oh, I'd really like it to get... I'd like it to recover, too. Doesn't really need to hold Harkov, because they're not really going to range up there, but... Maybe I'll just move him here. Yeah. That way I could easily get back over here if things go wrong and he can't really be attacked. And not close enough for the red train, but that's going to be okay. I think we can deal with that. Let's get a little closer here to this battle. Okay, so we got 4, 8, 12, 16. So that's going to be a 2 to 1 attack. Let's go ahead and roll the die. Oh, yeah, not good for the whites. See, this is where the river flotilla... Well, actually, I couldn't have attacked with them because they're not on the river, right? So we have 5 to 2 here. That's very bad for the Vites. That's not good. So we have 5 times 4 is 20, and we have 26 because of the modifiers there. We know they get no defensive bonus. We checked that earlier, and they only have 4 units. That's 8. So 8 minus 23 is a plus 15 differential on 2 to 1. And that is a Defender Retreat. Uh, capital D-R. So this tank goes away... Tarek's die. Markov and the Caucasus, and I'm pretty sure they actually just will die. Because they can't go anywhere without entering a zone of control. So yeah, they, they, they bite the dust. So people probably watch this and go, well, why did you do that? If you, I mean, that was a risky move, but at the same time, I have to kind of get a little risky with the whites now. Um, just because they're so far behind. And honestly, if I could have taken Zaritz and if I had one initiative and, and knocked them out, that would have been an incredibly huge bonus because although Zaritz is a red city now, isn't it? But it still is on the Volga, and that's not so easy to get onto. So it would have been much more difficult to sort of dislodge white units there. But getting this around, and I had supply, yeah. So getting around um, and really isolating them there uh, was the, the key. It's this is the first game I've really had a good luck with really isolating units and surrounding them. I'm doing a pretty good job of that. So maybe I'm getting better at playing the reds and getting much worse at playing the whites. Okay, so that was that. Oh, that's really unfortunate. That entire sack just vaporized. <laughs> but see, the thing is, if I'd have rolled, if this had been reversed, if I'd have rolled a five and they had rolled a two, then they would have gotten, what, eight plus six is 14 differential, but I would have had a 10. So it would only have been a plus, what is that? Actually, I had four units times five, so it would have been a 20, right? And they would have had eight. Uh, yeah, so I would have had negative modifiers there, and that could have been an attacker retreat, right? So it's one of those things where, like, in this game, this is one of the more frustrating aspects, is that it can be difficult to sort of anticipate what battles are going to be because it's so highly dependent on the kind of rolls you get and not necessarily the odds you generate. Um, that can be frustrating for some people that like to plan and do those kind of things, but, you know, it's part of the nature of this warfare. That, unfortunately, I think all but seals the fate for the Whites. They lost a lot of units there, including a one unit that can't come back. Um, and the tanks, which will never come back, because we're about to lose Allied support. So, you know, he had to use it or lose it. Would have been nice to have gone first there, honestly. Okay. Oh, we got here AIF. They are going to do nothing. There's nothing for them to do. Um... You know, if other people play reds, maybe I'm just not playing the allied forces well enough. But they honestly just don't can't do much, so um, they're not going to do anything. Losing the Odessa unit really kind of hurts. Having minor withdrawal takes out the Odessa unit here. That kind of hurts, because this can open up a whole other route of supply for you without having to worry about the the really annoying um, Machno district. Because you have to send a garrison or keep a unit there to keep that uh, space open for supply purposes. Field staff chit. Is there anybody we want to field staff? Where am I putting all my chits here? Oh, there we go. Is there anybody we want to field staff? 
Oh yeah, we'll do the west front around Petrograd up there because, well, we ousted the Northwest armies and killed them all, so that was, that was pretty good here. And we're gonna start thinking about maybe invading the Baltics and stuff. So what I will do is I will take this army, we'll go back into Petrograd. Um, this army's gonna go one, two, Actually, what we're going to do is this army is going to come down. One, two, three. This guy will go one, two, three. And this guy will go one, two, three. And we're going to just bring them down slowly but surely and hopefully take sort of the Kiev space here. Maybe take the Minsk space and start grouping armies to go assault the Baltics. Uh, or maybe just take on Poland, honestly. We probably should just take on Poland. Um, but we're going to need a lot of armies for that. And some of the funny rules about po Poland, as you can see kind of here, you can see that Poland is divided between two fronts. So we have the west front here and the um, southwest front here. So you can see some funny dividing lines there. It's going to make it difficult uh, to get coordination going on. And also you can't bring the red train within so many spaces of Poland because uh, historically Trotsky uh, never went to Poland to fight in that war. Uh, okay. So we did the AIF. Right, let's see what else we got. Armed forces of South Russia, unfortunately now a shell of what they were. Um, wow, just not a whole lot able to be done here. Oh, these guys are hurting now. And they are not a very good stack. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to just move them back into this city. Although that keeps us from getting the Don Cossacks, doesn't it? And we keep doing that. Dang. Yeah, that keeps us from getting the Don Cossack replacement, which would be helpful. I think that's the only Cossacks I really can bring back. Or the Tareks I could bring back. But they're, they're less helpful and because their range, limit range, is pretty much the extent there. Oh, yeah. This is not looking so hot anymore. Um, <laughs> what am I going to do with these guys? Because they're pretty much in a bad, bad place. And if he comes here and attacks the garrison, then he'll just be able to knock that out. And that's not really great. Although they can always stay in supply if he gets around here. So maybe that's just what we got to do. Let's go one, two, three. And then we'll have the Kubans. Unfortunately, armor train can't participate because we're not on attacking on a rail line. Yeah, so we'll have Alexeyev and the Kubans attack the Machnos. I'd rather just get rid of these damn things. And The red player can bring them back for one more turn. Oh, I don't know why I did that that way. Um, like one time, they can bring them back full strength, but we'll see if that really is uh, advantageous to the reds. I don't know. And they, there we go. Okay. So what I have, three to one here, because I think that's just a one guy there, right? Yes, three to one. Um, he's in the open. See, this is the roll I wish we could have gotten earlier. That would have even been more helpful. 6-4. Uh, so obviously we got two units. That's 12. I believe we get plus that's 14, 16. And he gets a 3. So that's a plus 13 on 3 to 1. And it's a DR result, capital DR. So he is done. And I could advance, uh, but I won't, even though I'm in a crappy red city, because I'd rather be in a red city on the coast where I can get supply uh, versus having being in the open and getting attacked. That seems like no fun to me. The east, so we're gonna keep our dogged pursuit. This might be the last turn. The Siberians can really hold out. Uh, we're gonna find out here. Yeah, that's all I can get, because I can't technically move this guy here, because then uh, they would cut off supply. So, yeah, here we go. We got 4, 8, 12, uh, 14 against 6. So it's 2 to 1 odds. They're in a city. So I do get a defensive shift. So that becomes 1 to 1. 4, 8, 12, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it becomes 1 to 1 odds. Oh, the dreaded. The dreaded 6-1 result has come up, not in favor of the Reds. This could be huge to knock them back. I really thought I was going to get them this turn, but 
Um, so all I really need is a retreat result, and they would be totally toast. Um, wow, so three units here. That's so six times three is 18, and then plus they get two more, so that's 20. Uh, the attackers receive one, two, three, four, five. That's five uh, plus nine. By five, yeah, that's nine, so it's 18. What do we say they have? 20, so it's a negative two on a one-to-one. -one. Negative two on a one-to-one -one is a <clears throat> capital A retreat. So, wow, train goes away. <laughs> train got destroyed. First army takes a loss, fifth army takes a loss. These two armies. So, wow. And that's what I'm talking about, the combat. You know, that can happen. <clears throat> These weren't overwhelming odds, but it was something that you were thinking, oh, yeah, you know, it should probably do pretty well, but look at those bad rolls here. And these guys have to retreat two spaces. Wow, okay. So not such good luck there for the old Latvian rifles, and they got a lot of injured armies now, so going to be... It's going to be tough, maybe, to crack Omsk. I don't know. And they lost their train. The southwest front, there is nothing in the southwest front currently. Are uh, there... Nope, there's no units in the southwest. Alright, the northwest. Uh, again, nothing's really going to be done. I have this Bondergoltz unit. The, the Free Corps or whatever. He's up there. I think what we'll do is we'll just sort of go one, two, three, and, and hide out. <laughs> and try to not get annihilated when they attack. Maybe we'll hide in Libau or Libau. Logistics chip? <clears throat> so everybody's in supply as far as I can tell. I don't think anybody's ever out of supply. It's pretty difficult. Uh, I haven't had a lot of opportunities to really nail units by keeping them out of supply. Uh, but we do have some whites that want to rally. I think, right? Yeah, don't we have an, oh, we do have an injured unit there. And injured unit there. Alright, so we're going to roll, and uh, the top one will get the red die. Alright, so top guy rallies. I think that was one of our uniques. All right, good. That's actually big. I think all the help we can get, honestly. Um, the red trains in Zaritsyn, so this army automatically rallies. Let's do the tenth army. See if it'll rally. It does. And then we have the Kon Armia and the eighth army there. I'll go ahead and roll and make the red die the Kon Armia. Nope, nobody rallies. Okay. Let's do this unit up here in Petrograd. It rallies. And... Oh yeah, that one Polish unit. The one guy who has not got it together. He barely misses rallying. The northern units are okay. The Siberians amazingly did not get hurt. So let's go ahead and see if we can... Let's do that Latvian rifle stack and we'll make the Latvians the red die. Nope. Do that. Do the, these armies, we'll make that one the red die. Oh, they both rally new guys. Oh, that's unfortunate for the Siberians. I was really kind of hoping this would take them a while to get their act back together. And then that one last army right here. No. I believe that is everybody. And I'm happy with the garrisons. I don't need to pick any up or do anything. I'm pretty happy. Okay. Okay, so that's time with logistics. That's pretty easy. As we start losing more and more white units, it starts getting easier and easier to do logistics rounds. The Siberians will, of course, stay put. They have nowhere to go, and uh, they're, they're holding out. They're doing their last stand. I think this is pretty much going to be it. Yeah, North and Islamic, not going to do anything. They're happy, and that leaves only the Polish troops. And Poland is pretty happy as well with how things are going. Okay, so that was pretty quick. I think the turns are going to start really accelerating now because um, the whites are just collapsing very quickly. 
So I don't, it's going to be really a question of can I defeat Poland and do all the things with the time remaining, I think is going to be the big question. And how long can the whites really hold out? Okay, so let's take a look at the board. Move away my sweet glaring light. Uh, you can see here in the uh, this front, we did have Zaryzin totally threatened and, and had a good shot at taking it had we had won initiative, but that did not work. Northwest has been totally rid of units, and we're going to just totally build up forces and probably swing down south and, and hope finish those guys off. Nothing happening in the north. The Siberians, huge, huge win by the Siberians in Omsk. Knocking out the train, knocking back the armies, taking out the elite Latvian rifles. And nothing really happening in the Central Asian front. So that's that. And we're going to be moving on to... What is the strategic turn E? This would be the end of our um, short scenario, the tournament scenario, which the whites would have lost because they will have major withdrawal occur at this turn. Um, and I could stop the game there, but honestly, the turns are going so quickly now, and uh, I'd like to see how the game finishes out if I can win with the reds. And um, so, yeah, when we come back, we'll do strategic turn E and figure out what we're going to do.